Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Coach Michelle Mills. I am an eczema coach and I am here to talk to you about skincare today. I'm gonna take you through my morning skincare routine and my night skincare routine and show you that I'm using all non-toxic products. They are all completely natural, all completely non-toxic. There are no sulfates or any crazy stuff in the stuff that I use and I can achieve like vibrant, healthy, skin with no acne and no bumps just with these products that I use and trust me there's not a lot of products that I actually use. So let's jump into today's video. Well, today we are talking all about skincare, specifically we're talking about facial skincare and I'm going to show you all the non-toxic products that I use on my skin to make sure that my skin is clear, is healthy, it feels good, I don't have a ton of bumps, I almost never have acne, so let's go ahead and jump in. We are in my bathroom and it is first thing in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I wash my face with first thing in the morning. This is what I wash my face with. Now, it's a little bit funny because this is technically shampoo, but this is North American Herb and Spice Scalp Cleanse Shampoo. And it's really in the ingredients that make this something that I love to put on my skin. Now, I actually usually double cleanse. So I have a bar of soap here. I will link everything down in the description down below. But I double cleanse, meaning I double wash my face. So I use that and I use this bar of soap. It has coconut oil in it. It has shea butter in it. Um, some people who are allergic to those things, I can put an alternative soap in the description box down below. But I basically put some soap there and I put it all over my face and then I go ahead and wash that off. So now what I'm gonna do is pat my face dry with a towel. And for the next step, I have a couple different options depending on the day. My go-to every single day usually is Moringa oil. So I will put one pump of this on my face and I will leave it like that. And this is especially good for when your skin is sensitive. So this actually would be good if you have eczema on your face. So Moringa oil actually helped me clear a spot of eczema on my hand. And so I've been putting it on my face and I tend to get forehead bumps and I feel like the Moringa oil has kept this under control for a while, but I'm gonna also show you an alternative that I sometimes use. I have a couple different combinations for my skincare. So on a day where I'm gonna be outside a lot, I will put on this sunscreen, it's by the brand Andalou. And then I'll usually moisturize a little bit more because I don't put a ton of that on. And so then I go in with Pink Swan Cosmetics Oasis Body Oil. And this one has more so like argon oil in it. The Moringa oil is just straight Moringa oil, but this has a combination of different things. And this one's a very thin oil, so you can put like a really light coat on your face. Here's another product that I use. It is Hemp and All. So this is by North American Herb and Spice and Wild Nettle Infused Transdermal Support, meaning that it goes, transdermal kind of means like through the skin. It is soothing and penetrating. So it has purified water, wildflower honey, wild nettle oil, raw CO2 extract from hemp stock, CO2 oregano propolis royal jelly, St. John's wort oil, wild oregano P73, wild lavender and myrtle oils, essence of Canadian balsam pollen, and linolin, linolin. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna choose today. This one is harsh, okay? We do not like putting this on eczema. This is harsh. So this would be, 
I basically have all of these natural products that are replacements for what like regular skincare would be like. I realize it might be more pleasant for you guys if I actually put the sun behind you and I'm illuminated. So this is harsh and this would be something like maybe like a vitamin C serum or something that causes the skin to the skin cells to turn over like the dead skin cells to turn over. So basically this is kind of sort of a very mild exfoliant. Um, so for me, I use this on days where I feel like I have maybe oil built up or something. But with my double cleansing, I usually get all of the oil off. I have been obsessively using that particular like Kempinol cream for I think over a year now. And it smells really strong. Like it smells like oregano oil. And like, I love this stuff because like it really helps clear my skin even more. It helps remove dead skin cells. Like it's amazing. And like, it also has a lot of healing properties that get into the skin, like the propolis and the royal jelly. It has like all of these things in it. And so I was obsessively using it for like a year and it smells so interesting. And my friends and family would be like, what is, what is on you? Like, what is on your face? And I'm like, yeah, it's oregano oil. Like it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so that isn't very, like it's moisturizing, but it's not enough for my skin. Like my skin really likes a thin coat of oil on it, especially on my eyelashes, which I have a special trick for you guys with your eyelashes. But what I'm gonna do today is, I'm gonna add in a little bit of Moringa oil on my face, so. I usually, if I have something else underneath, I'll do like half pump of the Moringa oil. So I'm just gonna put that on my face, around my nose, on my lips. Like over the winter, my lips have been getting so dry because I think it's a little bit more dry in my room from the heater. And I literally had to have like lotion beside my bed to moisturize my lips with in the middle of the night but then I've switched to the Moringa oil and it moisturizes my lips really nicely. So I basically will put that everywhere. A little hint with the Hempinol oil, if you just, Hempinol cream. If you decide to get that, it does sting a little bit. So if you do like, like that vitamin C serum, well, okay. Vitamin C serums like burn my skin a little bit. They probably don't burn everyone's skin, but I have very sensitive skin. So that is kind of like, an exfoliant, like a chemical peel, but not that harsh. Like if you've ever used a chemical peel and it's like burning, okay, but it's not that harsh. <laughs> it's like a very slight, a very, very slight like stinging. Um, but then usually when I put the oil over it, it's fine. So the trick for the day is we're gonna curl our eyelashes and then I have a secret for how to make it look like you're wearing mascara, but you are not wearing mascara. It like, okay, I'll just do it. I'll show you guys. Right, so I actually just took a shower. I gotta do my underarms and everything right when I wake up. And I wanted to actually mention that when I get out of the shower, I right away use the Moringa oil on all the spots that I have eczema. So I, my poor little spot on my hand, came back a tiny bit because as much as topical things can heal your skin, they don't solve the root problem. So that's why you have to do the work. Like whether you're using steroids or Dupixin or if you're using like a nice natural oil like Moringa oil, you have to do the work to heal from the inside out. Otherwise, you're probably going to just keep using Whatever, it's like, it's hard to explain, but basically you have to do the work to heal inside out. Otherwise, like the work that you're using, the work that you're putting in topically isn't fully worth it. And so like you have to do the dead sea salt baths, you have to do like the Moringa oil and you keep up topically, but you're also keeping up internally. So stress caused a little bit of eczema. Okay, it's like the tiniest, the tiniest piece. It is right there and you guys are gonna think I'm insane, but yesterday it looked worse. It was like a little bit bigger, a little bit more red. I used Moringa oil on it overnight and it looks better today, but 
I do also have eczema on my shins, which is like the first time I've ever had eczema on my shins. I will show you, but I do have hair on my legs because I cannot shave when I have eczema. So I will show you my eczema on my shins and show you how I apply the Moringa oil to my eczema. Okay, so the eczema on my shins is right here. And after a long day, it does get much more red than this, but I have been using the dead sea salt baths and the Moringa oil to help this flare. So right after the shower, both morning and night, I lightly rub in the Moringa oil into my shin eczema flares. So they're not that visible on camera, um, but they do itch like eczema. They can get red, they can get dry. Um, so this has been helping a lot topically. Okay, I just got ready for the day and I'm gonna show you the trick to my eyelashes. So I'm gonna come in close, I have curled them. Now, the trick for you guys is, this is the Eczema Soothing Balm. So, how can I show you? Yeah, okay, so this is plant-based beauty and mine. I basically came up with this myself, like I formulated it and she makes it, her name's Monica. And this has been out since the summer of 2020, so you guys might be familiar with the Eczema Soothing Balm. This sucker has a lot of benefits to it, one of which is dry cracked hands. That's like its specialty. It contains borage oil, and borage oil is especially good for dry cracked hands, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna take a really small amount of the Eczema Soothing Balm. So this is how much I have. And then I'm gonna take it onto my other finger and then take it onto my other finger because for me to apply things to my eyelashes, I usually blink on the stuff that I'm using. So not only is this moisturizing your eyelashes, making your eyelashes stronger, but I'll show you that it ends up looking like mascara without applying any mascara. So this is without and this is with. So it further like brightens up your eyelashes. Like see how these look a little bit like everywhere and these are like pulled up. Like it looks so good. I figured out this trick because basically my eyes can get kind of dry and I wanted to moisturize them with the eczema soothing balm and so I put it on my eyelashes and then realized like, oh hey, like this is a really effective mascara if I don't actually feel like putting mascara on my eyelashes. You can't tell me that that doesn't look good. I know it looks good. And okay, so I'll walk around like this during the day, like I'll go live my life, go live the day. And in the evening, I will double cleanse again with the North American Herb and Spice Scalp Cleanse Shampoo. And then with the bar of soap, that's my double cleanse. And then I will get out. And what I do next, it depends on the night. So this is where I'll actually bring in the eczema soothing balm and wear it as a overnight mask because it's much thicker than the rest of the oils. The other oils, like I put the Moringa oil on and I put the hemp and all cream on and my face isn't excess oily or anything. But I don't know if you guys know about slugging. I barely even know about slugging, but it's basically where overnight you like slather oil on your face and wear it overnight. So anyway, this is my overnight face cream and I love it. <laughs> this can be used for a lot of things. It's not just for eczema. It's my, my mascara and my overnight cream. So with all that being said, thank you so much for wearing, for watching this skincare video and I will see you guys in my next video. And if you watched my previous one, I actually mentioned that the Ultimate Eczema Food Guide was a subscription every month for like $12. I have cut that. It is $30 and you get like an unlimited membership. As long as the Ultimate Eczema Food Guide exists, you guys will have access for just $30. So I'll link that in the description down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.